So there are other body symptoms, Dr. Orden, that you may think, eh, this is no big deal, but it's actually something more serious. Well, a great example of that, and this is, this is in my wheelhouse as a ear, nose, and throat and head and neck surgeon. I mean, what doctor would you typically go see if, you're, if you had a toothache, right? A the dentist. dentist sure. A dentist. Well, in the case of tooth pain, it may be underlying sinusitis, and there's a reason for that. And most of you out there, voila, watch this face Ooh, off. That's Ooh. pretty cool. Wow. And so what, what we're looking there is the fifth cranial nerve, the so-called trigeminal nerve. As you can see, it's a, it's a massive nerve that innervates really all of, all of the face. Here's your maxillary sinus right there with all these rich nerve endings sitting around it. Your molar teeth, their roots actually sit in the maxillary sinus. So if you had a sinus infection because of these rich nerves, mm -hmm. pain could be referred to those teeth. The other thing is you see that because of the trigeminal nerve, you heard, you've heard of trigeminal neuralgia, you've heard of TMJ syndrome. Mm -hmm. What that's all about is that you have any problem going on in this area, you can have referred pain literally to any part of your face. But a little trick you may want to try to differentiate, is it, is it a dental problem with the isolated tooth or is it a sinus problem? You can tap on the teeth. Now, if you tap on an isolated tooth, one tooth, and the pain is really localized there, it's more, most likely a dental problem. But if you tap on multiple teeth and that you have pain in more than one tooth, especially if it's going up higher in the tooth, it very well may be a sinusitis.